Captain, a ship's been spotted. He Hello. was this pirate deckhand in the Caribbean. Pirate. He was an Austrian driving a train in this action caper for secret agent Tom Cruise. Das ist hydraulic. Das ist diesel hydraulic. Das ist diesel hydraulic. Now Michael Enright from Manchester is back in Syria. Good day. He joined a Kurdish army there last year taking on the fighting name of Mustafa Rojava. And a few days ago, the bit part Hollywood actor returned. Was your career as an actor not going well? I mean, did it feel like a natural time to go and do something else? I would say that um, Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise were not exactly shaking in their boots if I walked in the room. <laughs> It was the plight of Yazidis fleeing execution, rape and slavery at the hands of so-called Islamic State, which Enright says compelled him to act. He travelled to Syria last March and stayed for six months, much longer than most foreign volunteers. That's an American airstrike. A sniper had kept us down for seven hours. We couldn't move either, way, either side. When he tried going back to Hollywood, he was detained for six weeks and then deported to the UK. This interview in London was the only one he gave before secretly crossing back into northern Syria last weekend. Somebody has to stand up. Somebody's got to, you know, I mean, as we speak right now, you know, little girls are being raped. You know, we should stand up to that. Are you looking forward to going back? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yet Enright's last trip wasn't exactly harmonious. He says his fellow Kurdish fighters from the People's Protection Units, or YPG, accepted him as a brother in arms. But a handful of fellow Western volunteers with military backgrounds took against the actor. One of them, Jordan Matson, an American, posted his alarming claims on Facebook. Michael Enright is in danger of being killed by one of the many Westerners and Kurds who want to bury him, he wrote. He's been kicked out of four different fighting units and asked to leave twice by the YPG. Some of the people who were fighting with you in, in Syria say that you were... Uh, violent, that you were mentally unstable, that, that you were kicked out of fighting units. What would you say to that? Well, uh, well first of all, none of the soldiers I fought with said that at all. Um, the only people who have said anything negative were the people I came with from the academy who I came over the hill with. And that the academy is the, the training? Academy, sorry, the academy is a place where we train. Yeah, I came over the hill with four or five guys. They didn't want me there. I had no military background. I had, uh, I'm an actor, and I didn't realize they felt that was, they really looked down on that. Uh, and I'm old, as far as they're concerned. So would you describe it as a personality clash that happened? No, it was in their, no, not really. Their egos were, were bruised, and um, they didn't want me there, and the YPG weren't prepared to send me where they, they, they thought they were going to be in control. And um, they weren't. Every single one of them went home. Every single one of them went home. I was the last man standing because I was determined. Last year, the 52-year-old filmed himself smashing in windows and doors in the hunt for IS militants. He says he shot at the jihadists, but can't say for sure he killed anyone. Not surprisingly, British police questioned him after he was deported home from America. He's donated a captured IS flag to the Imperial War Museum in London. And he says he's returning now for what he hopes will be the capture of Raqqa, the Syrian town serving as the IS capital. I think if you ask any volunteer, any of the Western volunteers, would you like to be part of that fight? I think all of their hands would go up for that. So you're going back for what you hope is the final push? Yeah, it's, well, to take their capital to take their capital. I mean, you know, where's your country now? Where's your caliphate now? Banned from America, Michael Enright's career, alongside the likes of Tom Cruise and Anne Hathaway, is, he admits, over. Instead, he's found a cause which he says has given his life meaning, one he thinks worth dying for. So your, your career in Hollywood is over? Yeah. So does that mean fighting in Syria is the rest of your career, the rest of your life? 
No, it's not going to be the rest of my life because one, either I'm going to die over there fighting this time. So that in that case, I guess it would be. Um, if God willing, I don't, that doesn't happen and I make it out, then it, will, it won't be a long fight anyway. We're not going to, this is, ISIS are not going to be around in that area very long, in my opinion, at all. So the two men who were flanking me, they're both dead and, and this brave man is dead too. And and these are brave as well, lad. They, every, we all knew where we were going. We all knew the risks, you know. So, yeah. God bless them.